morning to you all. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. As you see, I, we have to smile. We have to start with a smile. Okay? You know, wasting time makes me nervous. Really. Uh, now, quickly, let's revise what we talked about last time. We talked about using what? The article. Okay. Uh, how can we make a generic noun? We talked about a generic noun. How can we form a generic noun? As you see, a banana is yellow. Banana, this is generic. And bananas are yellow. So, we can use what? The indefinite article, a or an, plus singular count nouns, right? Okay, and we can use what? Zero article with plural count nouns to make nouns generic. Again, you know, uh, fruit is, this is, uh, is it a count or a non-count noun? Non-count. We can use zero article with what? Non-count nouns. Now, we have three ways for making generic nouns. What are they again? Can you repeat, please? What are the three ways for making generic nouns? A or an, a and an, a plus a singular count noun. Yeah, a student should study hard. Yeah. A and zero article plus a plural noun. Students should study hard, okay? Yeah? And this zero plus a plural noun. That's right, thank you very much. These examples, we talked about that. Uh, now, we can also ha use the, the, for making generic nouns in three cases. Who can remind me with that? Uh, we can use the with the noun, uh, with generic nouns, with generic nouns, yes. Very good. The whale, uh, the elephant, the lion. Thank you very much, yeah. Instruments, the piano, good, thank you. Yeah, yeah. And, and inventions, the telephone, that's right. Uh, the telephone, who invented the telephone? The telephone has become very important in our life. The telephone here is what? A generic noun. So we can use that with these three types of nouns. We can use a or some with indefinite nouns. When you say, uh, ate, I ate a banana. I ate a banana. A banana here what? Is it definite or indefinite? <laughs> it is indefinite, okay? Now when I say thank you for the banana, <laughs> thank you for the book, <laughs> this is definite. Yeah. But in this sentence, a is used with a singular count to make an indefinite now, also you can use some with plural count and with what? Non-count nouns. Good. Now, when you say thank you for the banana, the banana in this sentence is what? Definite. Okay? And thank you for the bananas, it is definite. So, we can use the with singular count and, sing and plural count nouns and with non-count noun. Thank you for the fruit. So we can use it for all types of nouns, singular count, plural count, and with non-count nouns. This is an exercise. Uh -huh. Shall we start the exercise? Uh, we did it? All of it? No. No. Up to seven. Now, complete the exercise, the exercise at home. Since we did, I, I think I asked you to complete at home. Yes, yes. Right? Check your answers. Let's look at another exercise. Now, complete the sentences with a, an, or some. A, an, or some. Just can you remind me, when do we use a, an, and some? Lama? Yes, words start with a vowel. Thank you. Singular count nouns that start with a vowel. Good. And the other count nouns 
should be preceded by A. A. Good. And sum is used with what? With non count and plural count. Plural count. Thank you. Now, let, tell me quickly what shall I write here? Yes, please. I had an accident. I had an accident. Good. No, number six. Yes, please. I have some homework to do. Some homework. Good. Some homework. There is? Yes, please. Good. There is a table. Yes, please. Thank you. There is some. Thank, thank you. Good. Yes. Next one. There are There are what? Some chairs. Please don't give a group answer. I want one speaker. Yes, please. My father gave me. Just a minute. Wait. 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 Now, advice. Is this a count or a non count noun? Non count noun. Okay. So, because it is a non count, I cannot say an advice. This is not accepted. This is not. Okay. And this is not English. Okay. Also, I cannot say what? Uh huh. Advices also. This is not accepted. Right? So, never use S at the end of this word or never start it with N. Okay? So, what shall I say? Okay, some advice. Good. Some advice. You are right. You can say if you want to show the number. He gave me a good piece of advice, two pieces of advice, uh, a good piece of news, and so on. But what? Ah, this in this equation we need some. You are right because you know he wants me to use a and or. Thank you. This is enough. Complete the exercise at home, and you have the answers. You can check. Now we want to look at this exercise. Look at this exercise. Yes, Lama. Correct the error. Oh, look at the, at moon. Uh, look at the moon. It's beautiful tonight. Okay, look at the moon. Very good. Look at the moon. It's beautiful tonight. Now, why did we use the with moon? Because we know in the moon is. Who's the speaker? Please, I want one speaker. Yes, complete your answer. Is defined. Thank you. Good. Yes. There is only one. Okay. It is unique. There is only one. How many moons do we have? How many sun? How many king? How many government? One. Yes. And so on. So again, I uh, look at the moon. It is beautiful. Thank you very much. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Good. In this sentence, uh, look, I saw a cat. Cat is first mentioned. We use a, a, a indefinite article. Bird is first mentioned. Okay. Now, cat is second mentioned, repeated. So I say what? The. the. And remember, we need a small letter after cat. Was trying to catch the bird. Uh -huh, the, bird. the bird is second mentioned. But it didn't succeed. Uh huh. The bird. Yeah, the? The bird. Good. Thank you. Next one. Yes, mean. Uh, birds have, uh, the birds have the, the wings. Many insects have wings. Uh, birds have wings. Many insects have the wings. Okay. So birds have, we start with capital, have uh -huh, wings. Many insects have the wings or wings? Wings. No need. Okay. Wings. This is a generic noun. Yes, uh, Marwa. We all look for happiness. Happiness. Very good. Yeah. And finally, I have a book. Good. Look. I have a book. 
The noun should be preceded by an article. Give me the book. I have a book. Yeah. Or, uh, give me your book. Give me this book. Give me my book. Give me his book. But never say, give me book. I have book. No. So we should precede the noun by an article, by a pronoun, or by, an, uh, by what also? A pronoun. This, that, and so on. Now look. The sun, okay, the sun is bright today. Uh, please hand this book to the teacher. Uh, please open the door. Omar is in the kitchen. Now, when I ask you, open the window, dua. Open the window. Now, which window she's thinking of? Which, thing, which window? This window. Okay. This window. When I tell you that your exam, uh, the exam, will be from 1 to 2, which exam I'm talking about? Grammar exam. Good. So, when the speaker and the listener are thinking of the same thing, we use what? That. When I tell you the exam will be from 1 to 2, you don't think of the uh, Arabic exam, for example. You don't think of the linguistics exam. You think of what? Grammar. The grammar exam. I'm talking about, I, I know that you are talking about, you are thinking of the grammar exam. So, when the listener and the speaker are thinking of the same thing, okay? We use that. We use that. Okay? So, in this sentence, I say, The, uh, Omar is in the kitchen. Now, we, we are in the house. Where is Omar? Where is Fatma? She is in the kitchen. Which kitchen? Our kitchen in the house. Okay? Our kitchen in the house. Please open the door. Which door? Which window? This window or this door? Okay? Uh, now, give this book to the teacher. Which teacher? This is a grammar book. I give it to you. Give this book to the teacher. Which teacher? Grammar teacher. And so on. Now, again, the, the listener is familiar with and thinking about the same specific thing. Uh, the speaker and the listener are thinking of the same specific thing. Now, look at this story. Who wants to read the story? Yes, Suha. Yesterday, I saw Sandal. The dogs were catching and catching. Check if Sandal is chasing. The cat was chasing a mouse. The mouse ran into a hole. The hole was very small. Thank you. A good story. Yes. Right? Now listen. What happened? I saw some dogs. Uh, some dogs. Okay? This is a plural count. The dog were, or the dogs were chasing. I'm talking about what? Now, dogs, this is what first mentioned. Yes. Yes. Second mentioned, we use that. Now, we are thinking about the same dogs, the same group. We're chasing a cat. A cat, this is first mentioned. First mentioned. The cat was chasing a mouse. The cat, second mentioned. A mouse, first mentioned. Second mentioned that. A hole, first mentioned. The hole, second, and so on. So... When a noun is first mentioned, we use the indefinite article, a or an. When it is second mentioned, we use what? We use that. But if I ask you, the dogs, the cat, is, the, is it a definite or a generic noun? Generic noun. Now I'm talking about the sentence again. Look at the sentence. Uh, the cat. Is it definite? Yes, who's the speaker? Yeah? Definite. Because you're definite. Yeah, that's right. We are talking about a certain. This cat, these dogs, okay? This hole, right? So the noun is definite. So when we are dealing with definite nouns, the, 
we start by the indefinite article, but when the noun is second mentioned, we use what? No. The, as you see. Now look at this example. What color is a banana? The a banana is yellow. Please raise your hands. Uh, what color is a banana? Banana is first mentioned. We used what? Uh, uh, and this is second mentioned. What shall I say? The banana. Uh -huh. Now, according, listen. According to what we said before, if the noun is second mentioned, and the noun is definite, we use what? That. 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 Now, is banana a definite noun here yes. in this sentence no. or generic? She can answer. I'm asking you. Is it a definite? Your name is? Selwa. Is this a generic or a definite noun? Generic. generic. Very good. So in this sentence, banana is a generic, generic noun. In generic nouns, even if the noun is repeated, don't use that. Don't use that. OK? Yes. Now, we use that because this is a definite noun. But this is indefinite because it is, it is generic. Sorry. It is generic noun. We don't say the banana. It is the second mentioned. We say a banana is yellow. A ba what color is a banana? A banana is yellow. This is generic. But with definite, you can use A. Is that clear? Yes. OK. We talked about this point, right? Now look at this sentence. Who wants to read? Yes, Maryam. Uh, Joe offered me a banana in definite now, or uh, an apple. I choose the banana definite now. OK, the banana is definite, right? Uh, the banana. But in the first one, what color is a banana? Huh? This is generic. A banana is yellow. We don't say the banana is yellow, OK? Now look, apples are my favorite fruit. Apples, OK? This is generic count nouns. Generic count nouns. Don't say the apples. Uh, don't say the apples are my favorite, OK? Uh, I my, are my favorite fruit. Gold is a metal, OK? Now, the gold. Don't say the gold. This is an uncount noun. Now, don't use that with a plural count noun or non-count when you are making what? Generalization. So we use that when we are talking about what? Singular count nouns. OK? But if you want to make generalizations, generic nouns, you remember the previous in the previous sentence we said, the dogs, the dogs, in the previous sentence, in this sentence, look, let's back again. Yeah, the dogs, is it a generic or a definite now? This is definite, uh, not generic. It is definite, not generic. So we use that. But if it is a generic noun, we cannot, uh -huh, we cannot use that. Now, what shall I say? I am afraid of dogs, or I'm afraid of the dogs. Raise your hands, please. I'm afraid of dogs, or I'm afraid of the dogs. Yes? Of dogs in general, OK? I'm afraid of dogs in general. But in this sentence, it is what? Definite. OK, so with plural count, generic nouns, and with non-count generic nouns, we don't no, use what? No. Good. Look at this sentence. Who can read? Yes, Khadija. I, do, I drove a car. I drove the car. Yeah? I drove that car. I drove this car. Thank you. So this is a noun, car. Car can be preceded by definite article. OK? 
by indefinite article or definite, definite article. article by a or by no, that. that it can also be preceded by that, that this okay and so on it can also be preceded by that's right so but don't say i drove car don't say i ate apple don't say i bought jacket okay i bought a jacket i ate a a, okay, I ate an apple. I read a story. Yes. Yeah. And so on. So it should be preceded by one of these. This is an exercise. Complete the dialogue with a, am, or the. Or the. Capitalize as necessary. Yes. Okay? A, am, or the. Capitalize as necessary. Can you just... Tell me, when do we use a, when do we use an, and when do we use that? Before we start. <coughs> hmm? Yes, please. Generic noun. A, singular, count, generic. Right? Good. And is the same. Singular, count, generic, but, but generic, but it starts with? A vowel. And what about the? Okay. Definite. Second mention. Thank you. Now, who wants to do number one? Come, please. Dema. Okay, thank you. Next one, Fadari Marwa. Did you think there is an idea for being played was a clickable? Thank you. The reason we are talking about, yeah, the reason, definite reason. Thank you, Fadari. Come. What is my blue shirt? The washing machine. Thank you. Yes, please. A different shirt. Write it. Come, please, and complete. Thank you. You are right. I wish we had a washing machine. Okay, number seven. Yes, please, come. Clean the board, then write. Clean. Hallway, thank you. Good, the last one, the last one. Yes, please, come. But why did you write it capital? Salwa, why did you write capital there? Uh-huh, it should be small. Okay, please, just a minute, clean it again. Clean it again, please. When you write that, when you write English, your hand should always move from left to right. Never go from right to left. So write it again, please, and be careful. Your hand should move from left to right. Fadali, go on. That, no, no, look, that. How did you make the dash for the T? From right to left, right? That. Now give me the pen, please. Look, that should be written like that. Okay, take the pen. Hmm. No, no again. This is very important. 
Now look at, okay. Okay. Okay, write the other one. Write the other one. Okay, write this one, please. The, the radiator. Okay, good. But this should be capital, right? Because we start with a capital. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, okay? Sorry for disturbing you. Now, listen. One day you'll be a teacher. You'll stand in front of about 50 children, and your children imitate you. This is very dangerous, okay? Your children imitate you. So always you should be very, very sharp with yourself. Watch yourself, okay? Never move your hand from right to left when writing English. Go on, please. Alik, okay? Is it a win? That. What about this? Do you agree with the answer? No, that. That. This is that. Clean it. Clean it all. Thank you. Complete the exercise at home. Look at this exercise. Complete the sentences with a and or zero article. Capitalize as necessary. Yes, please. Come. Lucy likes Come here, please. Lucy likes green hats. Hats. Zero article. This is a generic noun. Good. Thank you. Next one. Yes, please. Come, please. What did you write? Is it the hat or a hat? Uh, a hat. Now, do we say the banana is yellow or a banana is yellow? A banana. A banana. This is a generic noun. Okay? Yeah, a hat is an article. Thank you. Come, please. Are look, this is a plural. Articles. This is a plural. Can we use and with the plural nouns? No, so what shall I use? Zero article. Zero article. Okay. Thank you. Yes, come again, please. Good. The brown hat. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Fadali, come. In life. Okay, thank you. Good. Next one. Next one. What about the others? Yes, Lama. Come. The life. Now, thank you very much. Good. Now, who can explain why life in number eight and the life in number nine? Yes, please. Now this is generic in life, but in the in the other sentence, definite the life of this person. Good, thank you. And finally, yes, Noor. I'm an engineer. Good. Yes, please. The name of the engineer. Write it. Ah. Good. 
Now, just a minute. Okay. Oh, an engineer who designed to from which one? It is an okay. Just a minute. Who's the speaker? Please don't talk like that. We agree that we want one speaker. Yes, who's the speaker? Fadali. What would you like to say? Thank you very much. Thank you. Sit down. Yeah. I think we should. Add, uh, we should use an where? instead of the, an, where? an engineer. Of uh, this one here? Yes. Why? Yeah. Now, I now look. Fine. Now, the engineer who designed. Am I talking about? Yeah, uh -huh. Look at this, an engineer. Engineer, this is generic. Can be any engineer. Yes. But in the other sentence, the, yeah, it is definite. I'm yes. talking about a definite engineer. Is the engineer who? Yes, Najwa. Huh? Is the name, not the name. Is the name. Why a name, not a name? Why a name, not the name? I don't know, but I... Again, this is, uh, is it now generic or definite? Huh? Definite. Now listen. When I say, when I say Fatma is a name, Girl. Okay, preferred. Okay, for a girl, for girls. Yes, general. Is a name for girls. Is a name. This is generic. Yes. Fatma. Okay, but now is the name of in this sentence. Uh, we are talking about a definite name for a definite person. It is definite. Is that okay? She cannot say yes. Now let's come another exercise. We yes complete with a n or zero article. It's the same idea. The same idea. Just we want to do some of the exercise. Uh huh. Fadli, come here, so Sahar. Everyone needs to Ah, just a minute. Just a minute. There is a mistake. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. Clean, clean everything, clean everything. Just a minute, let me do it, please. Okay, you write your answer. A cell phone, thank you. Good. Next one. Yes, uh, Morida. <coughs> thank you. Yes, please. Next one. Fadari, come. You two, three and four. Thank you. Cell phones. Now, just a minute. Just a minute. When you write cell, what about the C? It shall be what? Capital. Capital. Make it capital, please. Cell. Keep the article, zero article. Keep it. Okay. Thank you. Good. What about watches? No. No. Okay. Totally. Next one. Uh -huh. What did you do? One key uh, to a healthy life. Yes. You are right. Thank you very much. Now, this is another exercise. Number eight. Which sentence? In the previous exercise.
Uh, this one? B is zero. This one? Yes. Sorry. In the universe. You are right. In the universe. Now let's come to the this exercise. Is it the last one? Yeah, it is the last exercise. It is what? Okay, because you know time is over. Just tell me what to write. Let's start the exercise. Yes, please. A new phone. Thank you. Good. Yes, please. The phone. Good. Thank you. Yes, next one. Tfadali. So this is what? Zero. Zero article and people. Use what? She's speaking, please. Yeah, one speaker, yeah. Plants, okay, and? In? In? What shall I write? Zero article. Okay. Complete. They are a source of? Zero. Zero. Life saving zero. to build, okay? Uh, no, to build, zero. please. Who can read this word? Houses. One, one. Who's the reader? Yes, me. Houses. Houses. One house, two. Houses. Houses, okay? Be careful. To make what? Paper. Paper. No, paper. Zero. Okay. Thank you very much. This is enough. Complete the exercise at home.